So before we progress any further in the Lakes of Lyrna, I did want to mention that I have initiated a couple more NPC quest lines besides Latena's. I forgot that I already started um, Raya the Scout's quest line and the Bogart's quest line. Now Raya you can find right here at this gazebo structure, right next to um, that thing, the telescope, which is also next to the scenic isle if you need a site of grace before reference point. And the Bogart you find here, obviously, at the Boil Prawn Shack. Now, how it goes is you'll initially find Raya. She'll say something like, oh, I lost my necklace, or this thief stole it. You'll then look around, eventually uh, happening upon the Boil Prawn Shack. And you'll come here, meet the Bogart, and you can buy the necklace off him. Um, and also some prawn, which will progress his dialogue and quest line and get him to be your friend. You then go back to Raya, give her back the necklace, she'll give you an envelope inviting you to Volcano Manor, which is over here, which I have already done, right? You see Raya the Scout. And once that happens, that's about it. Um, I don't really care too much for Raya. You can progress to the Volcano Manor on your own without the invitation. It's the Bogart that I, you know, it's, it's that he's the reason why I did it, because his two items... You have the boiled prawn, and later in the game he does sell you the boiled crab. Those two items, as you can see, boosts physical damage negation for a time. Now the prawn is just alright, but the crab vastly boosts physical damage negation. So, something, a useful item. I don't know if I'll be using it per se for this playthrough, but yeah, just wanted to mention that. So leaving the Bogart's shack here, we're going to traverse across the lakes from the shack to the left hand side. Now be careful because when you're progressing through kind of like open bodies of water as you can see off to the right they are the giant lobster enemies. Now in Dark Souls 3 from software introduced the crab type enemy which is you know as it sounds giant crab. Um, it'll slam down on the floor with its like pincher claws and yeah pretty tough enemy but with the release of Elden Ring they kind of did a natural evolution of the crab and went to the lobster. Now, pretty similar. Um, see, as you can see, there's a crab, right? But the lobsters are pretty similar. The difference being that um, the crab has a ranged attack on its own, I think. it's It kind of like spits little sewer water at you. Um, but the lobster, however, has a ranged attack, but it's like a fucking sniper rifle. Like, it'll, it'll shoot you, knock you off torrent from across the map. So... If they're lying down, you definitely don't want to aggro them, unless you know you can kill them in like one shot. Yeah. More marionette soldiers up ahead. And I did set a marker for once because, yeah, Lakes of Lyrna is a huge portion of the game. So. And it's not as condensed as Limgrave, it is a bit more spread out. Right. So. The converted tower. Now, there are two ways about this. Like any other rise or tower, it's going to have an item at the top. I forget if this is a memory stone or something else, but you come up here. Let's get this item first. Cuckoo Glintstone. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck that is. Read message. Right. Erudition guide the. Now, what the message means by that. Let's get rid of this marker. I already did. What the message means by that is if you've progressed uh, Thops, remember that guy? back at the church of whatever, when you talk to him, progress his quest line, eventually you will get a, an emote from him. Um, now, I don't think I did it. Yeah, I don't, but it's, it's just called erudition. And what you would have done is you take it out, right? Do the emote right in front of this statue and uh, the statue will disappear and then like a ladder will form right there and you'll be able to walk up. That's one way. Now, it's pretty easy because if you don't have the emote like I do, all you have to do is get on Torrent. I'll just walk up it. Is you walk up this side of the converted tower and come over here. get back on torrent and double jump up simple as that right see you get the same exact thing
Okay, so it is a memory stone. Cool. And the second marker here is going to be an Erdtree Avatar. They're always guarded by these tree spirit dudes. Right. Just an annoyance. Not even the Avatar here before the main course. Now they will notice you even if you crouch, so there's no point in crouching. They are weak to fire. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought I could have sworn I dodged, but evidently I did not. Handy Statue of America. Gotta go grab those runes. It's like 75k or something. 73k, yeah. Fucking delayed attacks, bro. <laughs> you see that? I dodged once. He still held it. I dodged again and got it. Right, so, like I said, that is just uh, to fuck with Soul's pets. So, moving past that delayed attack Erdry Avatar, I just fast traveled, but we were previously right here, so it's just a short torrent ride to Temple Quarter. I do want to get a couple things on this side of the lake. And these giant land octopuses, you can farm for the, what is it, octopus ovary. Now on its own, useless, but if you do combine it with the previously mentioned arteria leaf, those are two ingredients for the blood boil aromatic. And like I said, that is probably the most useful uh, perfume. Now, it did force us off our horse there because we're about to get invaded by Irina's father. That was rude. Man just interrupted me. Anyways, yeah, so he's Arena's father, and we do get a couple key items from him. For one, the Shriri Grape, the Banished Knight's Halberd, you know, it's whatever, um, raw meat dumpling, and two of those. Yeah, so the raw meat dumpling is an interesting item. What it does is it acts similar to a red flask in that it heals you, but it also afflicts the user with poison. So, you may be wondering... Why would I want to consume something that poisons me? Well, normally you would not want to consume it at all. But in a couple niche builds, there's uh, a talisman. I don't believe I have it. There's a talisman called the Kindred of Rot's Exaltation. Now what that does is um, it increases your damage by, I believe, 10% if an enemy is poisoned. And you guessed it, it does work on yourself. So what you can do is eat the raw meat dumpling, wear the talisman, and you'll get a 10% damage increase for free. Now, I just remembered, after we killed Margaret, we got a second pouch. What I will be using is the Ritual Sword Talisman. 
Raises attack power when HP is at maximum. Wait, no. We'll compare. Raises attack power with lower equipment load. So we will compare, right? So at full health, two-handing, ideal 475 AR. Now switched out for the blue dancer's charm at full health, two-handing, ideal 458. Okay, so uh, this guy was higher, right? 75? Yeah, okay, cool. So we'll, uh, we'll do the ritual sword talisman. I'll stack them both once I get three slots. So leaving the Revenger Shack now, we're going to continue northward and happen upon another Everjail. Now if I remember correctly, this is just a Cuckoo Knight, but I've been wrong before, so. Let's check this guy out. Oh, I was very wrong. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, bro, if you're not going to do anything, I'm just going to kill you. Okay, so... Troll. Alright, Torrent, just don't call. Absolute guy. So, pass that ever jail. And as you saw, that enemy over there is actually singing. I think it's called a harpy. Side of Grace. And just ahead on that uh, rise over there is going to be the four belfries. And the four belfries are important for a couple reasons. One, because it's one of the only three locations where you can get an imbued stone sword key. Now, th how that differs from a regular stone sword key is a regular one will just open up um, like a fog door that's locked, right? An imbued stone sword key will activate a portal that was otherwise, you know, inactive. So, because of its... Um, its superior properties. There's only three you can find per game. At least I think so. Yeah. There should only be three you can find. And one of the three is at the top of this mountain. In that chest. Right, imbued stone sword key. Now I'm not going to use it right this minute because I have no real reason to just yet. <laughs> 